Hello everyone and welcome to Barca News. It's October 18, 2022 and Barcelona have new sponsor with the largest baking company in the world. Also, it's reported that the club are currently working on extending the contract of Iñaki Peña and the corruption trial for the transfer of Neymar Jr. from Santos to Barcelona has begun. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and before we begin with the news, I would like to invite you to please subscribe to the channel so you can help this small and humble channel continue to grow. Also, if you're currently enjoying the content of this video, please consider liking it as it will prompt YouTube to recommend this video to other people and you would further be helping this small channel continue to grow. Now, we begin with the news that after a difficult week for Barcelona where they drew 3-3 against Inter Milan in the Champions League and after they lost El Clasico against Real Madrid 3-1, Barcelona have now a triple home advantage as they will play the next three matches at the Spotify Camp Nou. Now the first match for Barcelona is going to be against Villarreal on Thursday where it's expected that Xavi is going to have several rotations on the squad as he tries to change things up and find the working formula. Now one of the expected rotations is Sergio Busquets who was, uh, who's expected that Xavi is going to bench him after he had a terrible performance against Real Madrid and Inter Milan where he lost the ball in critical areas leading to goals by the opposing teams in each one of those matches. So we can expect to see Frankie de Jong start in the place of Sergio Busquets and we can even expect seeing Frankie C having more involvement in the midfield. Now another expected rotation is that Xabi could be benching Rafinha, Dembele or even both given that the Barcelona wingers have not had much impact on the team since the international break. So we can expect to see Ansu Fati or Ferran Torres or even both start in the match against Villarreal. Now Villarreal began the season very strongly, however they've only won one match out of their last five, so this seems to be a good time for Barcelona to face off against the Yellow Submarine. Now the second home match will be between Barcelona against Athletic Club on Sunday, where Barcelona are going to face off against the former Barca manager Ernesto Valverde. Now Athletic de Bilbao is one of the most impressive teams in La Liga and they have gone undefeated on the road, so it's expected that this is going to be a difficult match for Barcelona. Barcelona. Now the third home match will be between Barcelona and Bayern Munich in the Champions League on Wednesday and prior to the beginning of that match Barcelona will have a better idea about their fate in the Champions League as Inter Milan will face off against Victoria Pilsen earlier that day. Now, now if Inter Milan defeats Victoria Pilsen then Barcelona will definitely be eliminated out of the Champions League. However if Inter Milan draw or lose against Victoria Pilsen then Barcelona will still have a shot at qualifying to the round of 16. Now it's been announced that Sadio Mane has picked up an injury and will be out of play for three weeks so he's going to miss the match against Barcelona but this might not mean too much at the end of the day given that Barcelona are hanging by a thread in the Champions League. Now as I reported in yesterday's video which I will leave the link for down below in the description in case you want to check it out the Barcelona feminine captain Alexia Putellas has won her second Ballon d'Or in a row for being the best female player in the footballing world. Now Alexia Putellas has become the only female player to win two Ballon d'Ors in a row and when she picked up her prize she said When I won a year ago I told myself I had to get even better and serve the team. I'd like to thank all my teammates, the staff, President Joan Laporta, the board, everyone who works at the club and of course my family for always being at my side and for being a part of this prize. I'm proud to play for Barca, my lifetime club. Now Alexia Putellas is currently suffering from a knee injury that will keep her out of the entire 2022-2023 season and in regards to her injury Putellas said, When I got injured I didn't think I'd be here today but it makes me proud to get recompensed for all the hard work. I miss playing so much and doing what I like to do the most. Now hopefully Alexia Putellas will be able to recover from her injury and she'll be able to come back better and stronger than ever and I have no doubt that if she wasn't injured that she'd most likely pick up her third Ballon d'Or next year because Putellas is definitely the best female world, uh, player in the entire women's football in the world. Now this was the fourth edition of the women's Ballon d'Or and the first woman to win this award was Norway's Ada Hegerberg followed by the American Megan Rapinoe in 2019 and in 2020 the edition of the women's Ballon d'Or was cancelled due to COVID and ever since Alexia Putellas has 
won both Ballon d'Ors in both 2021 and now in 2022. Now Alexia Puteas is the first Catalan to win the Ballon d'Or in both the men's and the women's categories and the first Barcelona player to win the Ballon d'Or was Luis Suarez Miramontes in 1960 and other Barcelona players who have won this award are Johan Cruyff, Risto Stoichkov, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho, and of course, Lionel Messi. Now, Gabi won the 2022 Copa Trophy as the best player under the age of 21. And upon picking up his trophy, Gabi said, I want to thank my family, my Asian, and everyone at La Masia. Also Barca, my lifetime club, and my teammates, and the national team, and my coaches. I wouldn't be here without them. Piscal Barça. Now Pedri, who won the 2021 Copa Trophy, was there to hand the trophy to Gabi. And in regards to Gabi, Pedri said, It makes me proud to see him here. I spend so many hours with him and I see everything he does. How he gives everything in every training session, in every game. It's an honor to play with him and I hope we can play on together for many years. Now having two of our midfielders winning this trophy back to back is a big testament that our midfield is in good hands and that it has a very bright future ahead of it. Now this was also the fourth edition of the Copa Trophy which was named after Raymond Copa, the first French player to win the Ballon d'Or and previous player who won the trophy are Kylian Mbappe, Matthias de Ligt and of course Pedri followed by Gabi. Now the winner of the Copa Trophy is selected by a special jury composed of former Ballon d'Or winners such as Lionel Messi, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho, and Franz Beckenbauer. Now Robert Lewandowski won the Gerd Müller Trophy for the highest goal scorer combining both goals for club and international team. Now Robert Lewandowski scored 69 goals last season, 58 of those goals were for Bayern Munich and 11 goals were for Poland and this is the second highest tally in a calendar year after Lionel Messi's very impressive 91 goals that he scored in 2012. Now upon picking up this newly created trophy, Robert Lewandowski said, This is especially important to me because of the name. Muller was a major inspiration for me. It was always a challenge to chase his stats but I never imagined I'd beat his goal scoring record in the Bundesliga. Now Robert Lewandowski also spoke about his teammates at Bayern Munich and Barcelona and he said, you can only score goals if you work in collaboration with your teammates. So this trophy is about them too. Now Lewandowski also added, I'm very happy to be at Barca. I have arrived at a time when everyone has to work hard to achieve something big. It's a great club and I feel very comfortable. I think I have a big challenge in front of me but since the very first moment, I could see how much potential everyone has. Now Lewandowski also sent a special message to everyone over his social media that he wasn't done. And he said, But I want to finish with one reminder for everyone. I'm still going. And for now, I'm not going to stop. Now this is a great statement by one of the best strikers in the entire world. And I really hope that Robert Lewandowski does not stop and he lives up to his words so he can continue scoring goals for Barcelona. Now on to the news that Barcelona have signed a new sponsorship agreement with the Mexican company Grupo Bimbo. Now this sponsorship deal makes the Mexican company and the largest baking company in the world one of the global partners of Barcelona and the main partner for the Barcelona Femini. Now Bimbo logo will appear on the Barcelona Femini jersey sleeve and the sponsorship also includes La Masia and the training grounds which are called the Ciudad Esportiva. So the Bimbo logo will appear all around La Masia and all around La Ciudad Esportiva as well. Now this is great news as the board of directors continue to do hard work to find new sponsors and create more sources of income and this comes at a good time as Barcelona are trying to recover financially from the financial hole that the previous president Josep Maria Bartomeu put us in. Now on to the news that Barcelona have reportedly began to work on the contract extension of Iñaki Peña. Now the 23 year old goalkeeper's contract will expire in the summer of 2023 and there are several clubs who are interested in signing Iñaki Peña including the Turkish club Galatasaray where Iñaki Peña spent some time there on loan last season. Now Barcelona want to extend the contract of Iñaki Peña as they consider him the future goalkeeper of the team and they are confident that he could agree to a contract extension of three or four years more. Now Iñaki Peña has yet to start with the first team this season however it's expected that he will get his chance once La Copa del Rey begins. Now on to the news that the trial for corruption in the case of the transfer of Neymar Juniors from the Brazilian club Santos to Barcelona has begun. 
Now, Neymar was present at the trial yesterday, Monday, where he was there for a couple of hours, after, and then he was dismissed by the judge, and it's expected that Neymar will testify in his own trial on Friday. Now, the prosecutors are currently seeking a two-year uh, prison sentence for Neymar, plus a 10 million euro fine, and they're also seeking a five-year uh, five prison sentence for the former Barcelona president, Sandro Rosé, and also an 8.6 million euro fine for the club. Now, there are other defendants involved in this case including both of Neymar's parents and the former uh, Barcelona president Josep Maria Bartomeu who was the club's vice president at the time of the transfer and Santos's president Odilio Rodriguez. Now this case was brought on by the Brazilian company DIS who at the time of the transfer owned 40% of the rights in Neymar and as a result they were entitled to 40% of the transfer cost of Neymar from Santos to Barcelona. Now DIS alleged that Barcelona paid more money than, than it was actually disclosed and as a result DIS are alleging that they are entitled to 40% of a bigger share because Barcelona paid Santos some cash under the table. Now the cost of transfer of Neymar from Santos to Barcelona on paper costs 17 million euros and DIS are, DIS are alleging that it actually cost 82 million euros, meaning that Sandro Rosé paid Santos a lot more money under the table and he didn't disclose that money on paper. Now this is one of the many lawsuits that both Sandro Rosé and Josep Maria Bartomeu are currently involved in and I don't take any pleasure in other people's misfortune but I'm very glad that these two criminals who have done so much harm to our club are finally being brought to justice. Now we will end today's video with the news that Diogo Dalot is looking like he will be renewing his contract with Manchester United. Now, it was er uh, reported earlier that Barcelona were interested in signing Diego Dalo in order to reinforce the right back position as Diego Dalo's contract with Manchester United will expire in the summer of 2023 so he could arrive in Barcelona as a free agent. Well, it's now being reported that Dalo is looking to renew his contract with the Premier League club so this will most likely close the door on the possibility of Barcelona signing the Portuguese defender. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I'd like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Pisca Barça.